Hello, Colorita-ville. Um, as you know, I have been going back and forth with the 172 um, regular coloring pencils from um, Shuttle Arts. And they have sent me a second set to go through and um, take a look at and see if maybe I just had a really bad uh, set come through. Now, this, this makes me really sad because I wanted to love these pencils a lot. Um, they have such vibrant colors. The uh, selection is absolutely fantastic. However, unfortunately, just on the top layer, um, as you can see, I've sharpened a few. There was a lot of um, pencils with wood that went all the way up to the ends and like this one here if you can see that I'll switch you over to the other camera so you can see it this one here is cracked right there so it's going to split and it's cracked on this side as well so there's a split in this pencil and as you can see it goes down the pencil i'm going to actually turn off that auto focus because it's driving me crazy just one second here sorry about that i completely forgot to turn off the auto focus well, it's not on let's see there so so as you can see, there is a crack that runs down the entire pencil right there, which is not good. So that's problem number one. Now, problem number two is the same issue that I was having before with the wood of the pencil going all the way up to the end of the pencil. Now this one here, I can pick it off, which is fine. However, there's a split right there. And normally if it's just a seam, it'll sharpen out, not a big deal. However, I can feel that split under the paint, which is not good. Now I had one on this side here that I had sharpened just to see if I could sharpen that wood down and get that core straightened or get that core so that I could color with it and the wood goes practically up to the top. As you can see the core is definitely not centered. So that's a problem. Now the biggest problem I've got my trusty ruler here for you. So this is a ruler, straight edge, whatever. I'm going to put it this way and then I'm going to take, which one was it? This one. See if I can get one that you can actually see. No. They're, the pencils themselves, and I had one out that you could see really good on the camera. There it is. If you can see that, watch as I turn it. There we go. The pencil is up against, at the bottom here, right up against the ruler, but the top isn't. And that's not because I've moved the ruler or I've moved the pencil. It's because the pencils are bent. They have a curve to them and it's not just one or two pencils. It is quite a few of them. This is just on the top layer of, there we go, on the top layer of the sets of pencils. So there's quite a few of them that are curved quite a bit. 
which makes not only sharpening them quite difficult, it also makes for broken, um, broken pencils, cramped hands, because you can't hold them properly. Now this one here is actually quite nicely centered. So I know that they can do it. I just, um, I really wish that their quality control was a little bit better. This one here is going to have the wood go all the way up to the end because it's not centered. And it's got some sort of glue goop there. It just seems that they, their quality control is completely lax. This one here, I think, is another one that is bent. See, I can, you know, I can rock it. It's, you know, and when you roll them across the table, they stop. And not because they've hit something. This one here is actually quite straight. You know, so it's not all of them. It's, you know, and that's what bugs me is it's some of them are even longer than other ones. Like this one here, I had to actually pry out of the box because it was, it's longer than the box, which is weird. And this one here also. It has a curve to it, so I'm trying to get to the curve. It's got a slight curve to it, but it's not too bad. Some of them are really bad. Some of them you can actually feel it when you run your hand across the pencils, you know, when you uh, do this. And you can see them bounce because of the curve in the pencil, like this area here. This one here is really bad. So this one here is out by at least one or two millimeters. I'm gonna switch you over here. Try to move it so you can see it. keep on rolling it past it. So there's the curve. So it's out by quite a bit. Which is, it's a shame because like I said, the cores of these pencils, the mixture that they use is uh, quite nice. When I swatched them the first time, they went down beautifully, they were vibrant and they're very pretty. That being said, if you find that that the curvature of the pencil doesn't bother you, um, that the only thing that you're really looking for in a pencil is the color that it is available to it, um, then of course these pencils would be would be good. I myself, because I do have so many different sets of pencils, and I do have a lot of really good pencils. I'm looking for not only comfort while I color, but I'm looking for the ability to sharpen my pencils without losing three quarters of the pencil. I'm looking for making sure that they're not going to split in half when I'm using them. You know, I'm looking at all different uh, things when I buy a pencil, you know, whether or not they're centered, whether or not they're, they're straight, whether or not, you know, all sorts of things go into a good pencil. And it's not just whether or not the cores are pretty or whether or not the box is pretty or whether or not the amount of pencils is pretty. And for that, absolutely, 
the the centers of these pencils are really nice the exterior um, of these pencils and the problems that that can arise with having a bent pencil without with having uh, uncentered core cause a lot of frustration with a lot of colorists M me especially I'm one of those colorists where I want to be able to lay down the color be able to sharpen the pencil and not continue over and over and over again to sharpen because of breakage and like I said that that bumpiness like I'll show you when underneath so you can see this pencil here when you turn it it actually sticks up out of the box that's how curved that pencil is and when you go over like this you can see the tips of the pencils jump up because of the curvature of them. They should not do that. And that's just the first layer. I was hoping it was, you know, just the first layer. Okay, so as you can see, even the second layer has so many out of um, straightness that they just jump they they you know this one here is so bad that it's knocking this entire layer this entire section this one here is you know so bad that it's jumping up and knocking all the other pencils out so this layer is really bad with curvatures as well severe curvatures this one here um, is going to be a problem when, when you sharpen it. There is no way that that is even close to centered. So unfortunately, even though they have a very, very large selection of colors, and the color itself is absolutely gorgeous, the quality control in, in their manufacturing process as in their woods, in their, um, basically in, in the, in the wood, you know, they have a severe problem with their shafts. The cores themselves are beautiful. I just really wish they would have control of quality when it comes to their shafts. So if you do find that you want to purchase these pencils because of the core quality, absolutely do so. Um, if the curvature of the pencil doesn't bother you, if the um, fact that some, a lot of them are not centered doesn't bother you, then absolutely, um, I, would, I would definitely buy them just for the core if that's what I was I was looking for a lot of uh, new colorists um, would enjoy the amount of color that these put down and I do love the amount of color that these put down I don't like the, the curvature of the shaft and I don't like having to sharpen over and over and over again to be able to get that color put down and that's what I'm going to have to do with these is I will have to sharpen them over and over and over again because they're not centered. Um, they're not straight. So I'm going to end up with breakage and that sort of thing. I don't know what other problems a um, bent shaft can give you, but I know that a lot of times it will cause breakage of your of your pencils because it's not going through the sharpener properly properly also with having arthritis having that curve like look at that that's you know that's like standing up out of the box just by turning it you know but having a curved pencil like that and you're trying to color it's going to put you off balance you know, it's, it's going to cramp up your hand. That's just my views on that. 
So I was very disappointed with these pencils. I did send Shuttle Arts another email informing them of what I found with this set. I am waiting for them to uh, recontact me and let me know um, what to do with this set. That being said, let's move on to the next set. Now this 174 colored pencils for the artist grade. Um, absolutely love the artist grade pencils. I didn't have any problems with the cores being out of center or, you know, there's a couple that have a little issue. But my biggest issue is with this tray right here. Now, let's see if you guys can see what I'm talking about. Can you all see what I'm talking about here? This one here shouldn't be here. This one. So these two shouldn't be here. Oh yeah, they should. Okay. So it starts here. And goes to here. So this entire area from this pencil to this pencil have the exact same pencils. So from apple green all the way up to aqua green are identical pencils. So I ended up with two sets of those pencils in one set. So instead of getting 174 pencils, I got a 162 with 12 duplicates. So my husband has contacted them via um, Amazon and hopefully uh, they will deal with that. Really, really made me cry because I was having a bad enough day as it was and then I went to swatch these and I thought, oh cool, an entire tray of green. That's awesome. And then I was sorting the pencils to make sure that I had them all together and I grabbed the light ones to make sure I could put those with the light ones and I looked at the names on the pencils and they're the exact same name. So that was a disappointment. Now some of these pencils like I said, have um, issues with the wood being all the way up to the top. However, the cores are, are super thick, so I think it just needs to be sharpened. I found with the others, with the other ones, um, the 80 set, they had the same thing with the tops of the cores. And see how these ones just all stay in place. It looks like there might be a couple that might be a little bit a little bit off off round like this one here seems to be a little off round. This one seems to be a little bit uh, not as straight as it should be. But that was my biggest issue with this set. Um, so I haven't swatched these. I haven't even sharpened them. I was just sorting them and came across the fact that, yeah, I have 12 identical pencils. So once that is dealt with with Shuttle Arts, I will do the proper swatch and review for this set because I am getting another one of these because I, I do love this pencil. This pencil um, quality is really nice. Their pigment is really nice. They sharpen beautifully. Um, when I found out that my husband was sending me this set or getting me this set because I peaked, um, I sent back the 80 set because there was no point in having two different sizes of the same pencil. Now I'm kicking myself in the butt for doing that because now I have to send this set back too, which makes me cry. And I was, I was really looking forward to swatching those ones. But it is what it is, right? Um, 
I will, of course, go through and let you know. I'll do an update to this video as well when these new ones come in, um, as long as there, there isn't duplicates in those two. I have had very little success with uh, shuttle art pencils recently, <laughs> so, but I will, uh, I will be getting a second set of these because I do love them. The other shuttle art ones have so many difficulties with their quality on the barrel that I don't think I will be purchasing those um, or getting another set of those. I will be sending those back to shuttle arts so that they can see the problems with them. Um, I don't know if it will get to them or if it'll just end up being back with Amazon and being sent out to somebody else as a cast off. I don't know. Like I said, I have sent Shuttle Art a email. It does take them three or four days to return emails if they return them. So hopefully I get a, an answer back from them. Um, something just letting me know what to do with these pencils and you know how to get a replacement for these. Um, if anyone else has had that problem where you have found duplicates in this larger set, if you have purchased it, let me know in the comments below. I, I would be very interested in knowing how many people have received duplicates of these pencils in the 174 set. I know in my 80 set, there were no duplicates and they were beautiful. In the 174 set, I haven't had a chance to, to swatch them. I assume that they're they're the same premium quality that the other ones were. Just I got duplicates, so I'm not even going to swatch them. With that being said, I would definitely suggest these. Um, keep an eye out for the duplication. If you do find that you have duplicates, let me know. Um, and let Shuttle Art know, let Amazon know, wherever you purchase them from, let them know that you have a duplicate, um, a bunch of duplicate pencils. If it was one or two, I might have let it slide, but it's 12 pencils. You know, so unfortunately, I wouldn't, I'm not going to let 12 pencils slide. So, um, with that being said, I will keep you updated on whether or not uh, shuttle art gets back to me. When I get the new one of these, I will swatch them and do a proper review for you. And with that, I think that's about it. If uh, you want to join us over on Facebook, of course, the link to the Facebook page is in the um, about section below. Make sure you fill out the application form in full because we do not accept any applications that don't have those three little questions answered. It's just three questions. It won't take you long at all. Um, join me later on for a swatch and review of the Brunzeal colored pencils. And that is coming up this afternoon. And uh, that's about it. I just wanted to throw this out there for you guys. Uh, just a quick little, eh, I'm so, so bummed about these pencils. Um, I was so wanting to like the other ones, um, the 172 set. They are a premium quality, not a, uh, not a, uh, they're not an artist quality. They're just a premium quality. And like I said, the, the cores of them, the pigmentation, the the um, way that they color and everything else, I found with the other set that I that I did swatch, had beautiful colors, absolutely gorgeous colors. The lay down was nice, everything else. Unfortunately, I can't work with. <laughs> you know, they they shouldn't jump up and down like that. And they do. You know, and I know for from experience that sharpening things with the wood all the way up like that is going to cause a problem. 
So unfortunately, these ones did not cut, uh, make the cut at all. Uh, the other ones, I will have to let you know after um, they get back to me or after I get the new set in. With that, I thank you so much for watching and I really do hope that was helpful. Um, as I said, if you enjoy just the pigmentation of the pencils and the fact that they're they're not even or they're not straight or you know that they're the wood isn't uh, is the fact that you're going to sharpen them more often because of the way that they are without being centered. If that does not bother you, both sets are absolutely fantastic. I would take this set over the other set in a heartbeat. It is just a couple of pennies more and the quality level is so much higher. With, I do thank you so much for watching and I do hope that that was informative and helpful. Again, like I said, as soon as I get the new set of these in with actual, all of the actual colors, I will swatch those and get that review out to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody. And always, always relax, stay safe, and color. Bye-bye for now.